words. In this video, we're going to talk about writing a rule to describe the translation. So a translation, as you've learned, is moving a shape from one place to the other. And that shape can be moved left or right or and or up and down. So a general rule looks like this. You're always going to put the parenthesis x and then y. So we're stating that this is x is the first variable, y is the second variable, and then we're going to put an arrow. And then what we're going to do is we're going to put x, and then we're going to tell what mathematically happens to x. If we move it right, we'd put plus. If we move it left, we'd put minus. So let's just say we're going to do plus 3. So that means everything in this shape is going to, the x value is going to move to the right 3. So that means we're either adding 3 to the x value or moving it right 3. And then we have to tell what happens to the y. So you're going to put down y and then either plus for it moving up or minus for it moving down. So let's just say minus uh, 4. It moves down 4. And then we end there. So when you do a uh, rule for a translation, your all this is here is going to be there. The arrow, the parentheses, is just going to be your plus 3 that may be different and your uh, what do you do to the y minus 4 that's going to be a little different too. So let's look at an example here and figure out what we're going to do. So here we have a shape we have RTS and it moves here to uh, R prime T prime and S prime. So what I've done is I've written out the coordinates ahead of time so we can figure it mathematically what it's doing or just look at the shape. So we look at R, well first it's going 1, 2, 3, 4 to the right. Now if you look here, negative 3 to 1, 1 to 5, and negative 2 to positive 2. So yes, that is adding 4. So I'm going to put X, Y, and then draw my aerial, arrow. I'm going to put X, and since it's moving to the right 4, I'm going to put X plus 4. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at what happens, and it doesn't matter what shape. I'm going to start T. Well, it's moving 1, 2, down 2, or Y. So I'm going to put Y minus 2. Alright, we can also look here. 3 minus 2 is 1, 2 minus 2 is 0, and 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So, this is our rule. So we state X and Y, draw the arrow, and then since this one moves to the right 4, x plus 4, and since it moves down to y minus 2. All right, here's an example that I would like you to give a try on your own. Answer the question, put in what you think it should be, and then hit enter, and then we'll see what it is. Okay, so let's see how you did. Well, here's the coordinates so we can double check it, and we'll go in with the all right, so we start here with L is over here, so it's going 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's going over 6. So for our X coordinate, we got to write X, Y, arrow. And so for our X value, we're going to go right 6, so that's plus 6. Now if it was the over here and going left, then we'd put minus 6. All right, now we need to decide what's happening to our Y. Is it going up and down? Well, M's right here, and it's going to there, so it's going up 2, so we're going to add 2. We can double check that. Negative 5 plus 6 is 1, negative 3 plus 6 is 3, and negative 1 plus 6 is 5. And then negative 2 plus 2 is 0, 0 plus 2 is 2, and negative 1 plus 2 is 1. So that is correct. So this is our rule. This is how we describe the rule to describe a translation. If you have any questions, please ask, and I will gladly help you or clear up any confusion you have.